Hey y'all, come on in. It's me. I'm in the kitchen, of course. Um, what I am doing here, first of all, is sauteing some peppers and onions because I'm going to make some um, beef wraps and some shrimp wraps for Kareem. I'm going on a little trip, and I like to leave him some wraps here to eat. So what I'm going to be leaving him to show you what the, what you can do, especially for those young folks and teenagers. So he don't have to be in here in the kitchen cooking and making a big old mess. I'm just going to do these for him. So uh, what I did was sliced up a uh, couple of medium-sized onions and a medium-sized green pepper. Well, not quite a, a whole green pepper. But you can do a medium-sized green pepper and two medium-sized onions. Just slice them up. And I'm going to go ahead and put them over here in this bowl. This is a pretty straightforward uh, thing to do is to saute peppers and onions. And I use a little, about a teaspoon of abalone sauce on them. And another teaspoon of my Gold Mountain Season. Some garlic and some black pepper. So what I'm going to do now, I got about a cup of shrimp. All I'm going to make is about maybe three. I think the shrimp will make two or three. Wraps. I've got a teaspoon of garlic on it, and I've got a. I'm gonna go over here and put a, about a half a teaspoon of my gold mountain season on this shrimp. Same seasoning I use on the onions. These were fresh shrimp that I went ahead and deveined and cleaned up. Put a little bit of seasoning on. It. I don't get a lot of shrimp because you know, I'm, I'm sorry, a lot of seasoning because shrimp. It has a real good flavor already to them, so you don't have to do a whole lot to them. And I'm going to saute these shrimp. You know, it doesn't take long for shrimp to do them, remember. As soon as they turn sort of pinkish, they're ready to come out. So one tablespoon of my uh, country crock butter in the skillet. Let me get this over so you can see what I'm doing. Put enough of that. And this is going to be a quick cook. don't want it. Well, I'm sorry, y'all. Camera's going out of focus on me. I don't know what's going on here. You know, I am forever having to adjust this camera, and today is no different. Sorry about the movie, movie camera. Okay, there we go. Let's get a little shrimp in the frame. Sorry about that. I turned the heat one way and it should have been turned the other way. Should have been turned it up. But the shrimp need to be cooked on really, really high heat. In this case, it doesn't really matter because what I'm going to do is I'm going to drain them anyway because I don't want my uh, wraps to get soggy. But anyway, the whole gist of uh, sauteing these shrimp is just to get them uh, just done enough, which is going to be to the point where this, see how they are. Let's see. When they start to turn pink all over, see they start to turn sort of a pinkish, light, opaque, orangey color. When they get like that, go ahead and take them out because you do not want to overcook the shrimp. Okay. I'm going to show you how little it takes for this to make wraps. And I want y'all to know now, when you go to these places and pay all this money for a wrap, you don't get a whole lot of shrimp in there. You already know that. Maybe six or eight. Because these are going to be homemade. I want to put more than six or eight. So there it is. Okay. It's kind of good, I guess, that they start off cooking slow because I want them to cook all the way through. And then tomorrow, when Kareem feels like he wants to eat uh, the shrimp, I don't know if he's going to eat the, the shrimp wraps. I don't know if he's going to do them tomorrow or if he's going to do them Monday. But anyway, I'll get these all uh, <laughs> Just kind of something to stir at them. And then 
they're really turning color good with it. Sort of let them sit there because like I say, this, I just happen to have these extra shrimp. And I thought, yeah, go ahead and clean them up and make some wraps out of them for Corinne. He'll appreciate this tomorrow or the next day. And after I get those done, I'm just going to throw these, um, I bought some uh, the beef fajita meat. It's already cut up into strips. I want to do some of that with the um, peppers and onions. And I'll put a little bit of cheese on that. Not a lot of cheese, but you know, cheese takes over if you put too much. So I'm going to put a little bit of cheese. Get these, keep these going here for a minute or two. So the heat's getting higher and higher, so it works out well that it didn't start out high. That way I get to brown them up and put that flavor into them a little bit more. So this is going to be enough for, I might make three, I'll have to see what it looks like once I get it out on to the uh, tortilla so, see? Yeah, those are cooking up nicely. Oh, they smell good with all the garlic and other seasons on them. So. It's kind of late at night, can y'all tell me, by the way I'm talking, I don't know why I get caught in the kitchen late at night like this sometimes, I guess because I'm doing a hundred other things during the day, and I decided to do this, because at one point, I thought Corinne was coming with us, but he changed his mind, he's not coming with us, so, I decided, let me leave this boy some food here to eat. I have to take care of my babies when it comes to eating, and I want them to have something good to eat. Okay. Well, that's mine. Okay. These ought to be ready. You know the best way to know if they're ready or not? Because y'all know I want to take one, don't you? No. Yeah. Those are ready. So hold on one sec. Okay, y'all, I am back. I am going to use this uh, beef fajita meat. This is some good meat. Ooh, real good meat. It's already cooked, seasoned, everything. All you got to do, the only thing I'm going to do to it, or the only thing I've done to it, rather, I put some butter in a pan and just heated it up a little bit. I'm going to put half of those peppers and onions in there with it. And uh, I'm going to do the same thing with the shrimp. Half the peppers and onions. Mix it up real good. And this is going to be real simple to do. I'll put most of that pepper and onions. Because pepper and onions are good with uh, beef and onions. So I'm just going to dump the shrimp in with those, the rest of those peppers and onions. And I think uh, that was a six ounce package of beef. And I think I'll probably get three good size fajitas. And I'm going to put just a little bit of cheese. And I'm using the, the large, let's see, they're, they say 10 tortilla shells. Let's say what they, they're saying extra large. So I'm using the big tortilla shells. To make these fun, okay. So I think let me get this off the heat. Get my skillet off the heat there, because I don't want to continue cooking. So uh, this is the order that I wrap these in. Doesn't mean a whole lot. I'm just gonna go. I'm think I'm gonna do the beef first, just to get them off the heat. So what I'm going to do here is just slide this over into frame where you can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to make um, three fajitas, I think. I was, we're going to see what they look like once I get, get the meat and everything on there. I think three. Yeah, three is good. So they'll be nice and beefy. And, you know how boys are. They love meat. Ooh, they love meat. You just have to sort of evenly distribute it on there. Um... Because I know Kareem doesn't like a whole lot of other stuff, I'm just going to put a little bit of cheese. Not a lot. I just slice some slivers of uh, cheddar cheese. Just a little bit. This is sharp cheddar, so there's two or three pieces on there to pump that flavor up. So 
That is one fajita. Let's turn around. And we went through, you know, how we roll these. Um, I'm going to put just a little bit of salsa on these, you know, because you do put salsa on fajitas. So just a little bit of salsa. Um, sous chef, sous chef, where's my salsa? It's late. I guess the sous chef went to bed. So hold on just a minute. I got to go all the way across the other side of the room and get my salsa. Okay, here we are. We're back. I just went to the fridge. This is some of my homemade salsa. And I'm just going to put just a little bit because, um, Cream does, again, he doesn't like a lot of salsa. So this is just a little... Just a little taste of that salsa to give it that fajita taste, okay? So, now, if I was going to eat these, I'd put a lot more salsa on there. Now, he, tomorrow, he would probably dip this with, um, I'll leave him some dipping sauce. Or he'll use honey mustard or whatever on there. So, three of these. Okay, that's one of them. And what I'll do is let these cool down, then I want to put them in uh, freezer bags. I'm not going to freeze them, but I am going to put them in, into the refrigerator. So, like I said, these will be good. Uh, reheat it tomorrow. And, you know, you can reheat these. All you got to do is put them in the microwave. I put mine, I think I've told y'all before, when I put uh, food in the microwave like this, I put it on the defrost cycle so that it won't... Um, Get all chewy and rubbery. Okay. Okay. And remember, unless you like loads of cheese on here, because if you don't, watch out. Uh, cheddar cheese will take over. And because that's the kind of cheese I have, is the reason why I'm just putting a little bit. But you got to have a little bit of cheese flavor on a beef wrap or fajita wrap. Now, these um, next wraps that I make, the. Um, they're not quite as big, so uh, I ended up with two different sizes. Let's go ahead and get these out of my way since this is my wrapping plate. Okay, now, see, well, now you can see these are good size, okay? These next ones won't be quite as big, okay? So this is the last beef one that I want to make, so it's going to be a little tight. Um, Like I said, when you want to leave something good for the kids to snack on or to eat on while you're gone, so you don't feel guilty. <laughs> well, nothing beats a good old beef, uh, you can call it burrito, taco, whatever you want to call it. But I call them, uh, this is a beef and pepper burrito. Again, this is block cheese. And I'm not putting a lot of it on there because I don't want it to overpower. And again... If you like to put more cheese, if you like a lot of cheese in, you know, you use your own discretion about that. But this is just a basic ingredient just to give you an idea of what you can do. I didn't put in, I'm not going to go back and do it either. But that's what you do just to get these wrapped up. So, again, these are going to be a little bit smaller simply because the uh, shells are smaller. Okay. Let's mix this up real good. And this is your shrimp wrap so this is just simply a shrimp wrap so nice shrimp in there these are going to be so wonderful and see by tomorrow these flavors would have had the opportunity to work themselves in there together and just be absolutely wonderful You don't put too much in there, so you, you know you gotta have enough space. I wish all these had been big, but I just didn't realize I had these. Now these are a little bit smaller, but they're a good size. I, when I get them rolled up, they're at least four inches, I think. So I might get four out of here, just so it's not too uh, overcrowd that get you, get too many ingredients in there. But see what I'm doing here. Kareem's going to have a blast with these. This will give him something good to eat. Okay. And you know, y'all, these freeze really well. 
So if you want to make these ahead and uh, put them in the freezer, just make sure you wrap them up really, really good. Got a lot in that one, don't you? Okay. This one will be sort of loaded, but that's okay. He'll eat it just the same. They're really easy to make. Just roll them up just like that. So, he's going to have a, a feast out of this. Now, the other thing that I'm going to leave for him, and I won't be putting these in. I'm going to, these will be put in, um, I'm going to go ahead and just cook them for him. These will be cooked. And I'm going to leave it, he can put it between some bread or he can do, he can put it with uh, a bun. So these are, okay y'all, everything is ready. There's the shrimp wrap. I've got them all packaged up in a uh, freezer bag, get ready to go in the refrigerator. And there are those uh, beef and pepper wraps, same thing. And I fried up some Italian sausage that I'm just going to put into a bag. And then when it gets ready to heat, reheat them, just put them on the um, defrost cycle, heat them up, and they'll stay nice and juicy. So, Kareem's got them a little feast while I'm gone. So, that's the way you do it when you're getting ready to leave. You want to leave some foods already cooked that are good and tasty, not too hard to prepare, not too hard to whip out of a refrigerator. And he can choose a salad with this, some rice or some corn. Or, and, of course, some cold lemonade. Or he can just eat it like it is. So, for a couple of days, he going to do the wrap thing, y'all. So, until I cook again, y'all, keep those prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down. And I'm just going to say good night to y'all. Love you guys. Toodaloo.